everyone, I'm Anjani, senior UX designer at One Thing Design. We are a dedicated experience design studio and on this channel we're going to talk about anything and everything in the framework of business design, culture and more. In this video, we're going to talk about what goes into making a UX portfolio that stands out. Now, let's talk about what goes into a UX portfolio. Take your case studies and present a holistic view of the design process in these five simple steps. Step 1. Define the product. Label the problem that you were trying to solve. This is the foundation of your design. Step 2. State the tools you used to solve this problem and why you selected these tools. Step 3 is the discovery phase. This is where you show your understanding of the problem while focusing on the user insights. Step 4 is to showcase the journey of overcoming the problem. From wireframe, prototyping, sketching, personas and user journey, this is where you showcase your entire design process. The last and the fifth step is to show your final outcome. Now here's something important. Make sure to avoid projects that don't align with your future career goals. Coming to how many case studies you should present in your UX portfolio. Remember, it's always quality over quantity. But if you want to know the ideal number, it's three. With three holistic case studies, you can show a wide range of your skills and ability while engaging the people. Now, I'll quickly state the three common mistakes that designers make while making their UX portfolio. One, focusing too much on the appearance and the template of the folio, rather than focusing more on the content, case studies and the highlight of the project. Two, skipping the introduction. A portfolio without an introduction is difficult to navigate through. Remember, to write clear, concise and helpful introduction for your homepage and your case studies. 3. Showing deliverables without telling the story. To show that you are process oriented, you need to make sure that your portfolio tells a story. So just make sure that you stay away from these 3 mistakes and you are good to go. Now coming to how you should test your UX portfolio. Once your portfolio is ready, Make sure you send it to a mixed set of individuals like UX designers and design students. Different set of eyes can help you catch little errors that will help you build a strong portfolio. Lastly, remember that your portfolio is always a work in progress. Keep a track of all the projects you are working on and update them according to your career goals. If you found this video useful, like and share the video. And if you are willing to explore more such topics, subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video from us again. Bye!